and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about the arithmetic progression. Consider a list of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. In this list of numbers, as you can see that each term is one more than the term preceding it. That is, the successive terms are obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding terms. As in this case, the successive term 2 is obtained by adding a fixed number 1 to the preceding term 1 of the list. Such list of numbers is said to form an arithmetic progression Now, the general definition for arithmetic progression is given as that arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding A fixed number D to the preceding term except the first term. This fixed number D is called the common difference. Consider A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. This represents an arithmetic progression where we have a is the first term and D is the common difference. This is the general form of an AP that is arithmetic progression. Consider the AP 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. In this, the first term that is A is 2. The common difference that is D is 2. If in AP that is an arithmetic progression, we have finite number of terms then that AP is finite AP, that is finite arithmetic progression and if we have infinite number of terms in an AP then that is called an infinite AP. That is, in infinite APs we don't have the last term. Consider this AP. In this, we do not have any last term. This is an infinite AP. That is, we have infinite number of terms in this AP. And if you consider this AP, this has finite number of terms. So this is a finite AP. Now consider a list of numbers a1, A2, A3 and so on. If the difference AK plus 1 minus AK is same for different values of K then the list of numbers that we had taken would be an AP, that is an arithmetic progression. 
we have taken this list of numbers in which we have a1 as this a2 a3 a4 and a5 now a2 minus a1 is equal to this then a3 minus a2 is equal to this then a4 minus a3 is equal to this a5 minus a4 is also equal to this so as you can see a k plus 1 minus a k is equal to 4 when we have k equal to 1 2 3 4 thus this list of numbers that we had taken is an ap that is an arithmetic progression now we shall discuss about the nth term of an AP. Consider general form of the AP A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. In this the first term is A and the common difference is D. Nth term of this AP is given by A N equal to A plus n minus 1 into d. This a n that is the nth term of the AP is also called the general term of the AP. If we have m terms in an AP then the last term is given by am also sometimes it is given by the letter l consider the ap here the first term a is given by this and the common difference d is this let's find out the sixth term of this ap that is we have to find out a6 which is given by a plus n minus 1 into d that is this so the sixth term is given by this now we shall discuss about the sum of first n terms of an ap Let the sum of first n terms of an AP be denoted by the letter S. This is equal to n upon 2 multiplied by 2A plus n minus 1 into D. Where A is the first term and D is the common difference. This can also be written as S is equal to N upon 2 multiplied by A plus A N. Where this A N is the nth term of the A P. If there are only N terms. In an AP, then AN is equal to L, that is the last term of the AP, then the sum, that is S, would be given by N upon 2 multiplied by A plus L. Consider this AP. Where the first term is given by this and the common difference D is given by this. Now we are supposed to find the sum of first 8 terms. Then we take N equal to 8. Now 
the sum s is given by n upon 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this is the sum of first n terms of this AP. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of arithmetic progression, how we find the nth term of an AP and how do we find the sum of first n terms of an AP.